Hello and welcome back. I'm Daddy Denmark. Today I will just be sharing a couple of tips when it comes to preparing lunch for your toddler. Of course, it's always different with all children, but I found that in my case, with my two and a half year old, that there's a certain way you gotta do things. Obviously, you wanna give your children as many choices in life as possible and you want your you want the meal that they consume to be nutritious and varied but uh, there's also a fine line between giving them choices and then giving them too many choices so i'll just show you an example of what a what a lunch meal for my daughter would consist of I have some strawberries here it's always nice to have a bit of fruit, and she loves strawberries. Uh, hey, do you mind? I'm, I'm talking here. What? Do you want more strawberries? Oh. Do you want a pear? Okay. Excuse me, she wants a pear. So, let's see here. Where is the... Uh, Okay. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't edit your videos and it's unscripted. Things just happen. So for some reason she calls pears apples. I guess they're not apples. They're not me. <laughs> they're not very similar, but it's called a pear. Uh, pear, not apple. Okay, here we go. Now, do you mind? I was trying to make a video here. Here you go. Okay, thank you. So, back to the video. Take our strawberries and wash them, obviously, because you never know what kind of pesticides they could have been pesticides they could have been sprayed with. Yeah, cut them into pieces there. Got ourselves a piece of toast here and some some cream cheese. Now I don't know how it is with your ch child, but for some reason mine doesn't like to eat the crust, so I have to cut the crust off. I know that's where all the good part goodness is in the bread, but if I leave it on, it will just get thrown on the floor. So, okay, here we go, piece of toast with some cream cheese. <laughs> Got ourselves some beetroot. She likes a big beetroot too. And that's also very nutritious. Got ourselves some avocado. Cut that over there quickly. Now comes the part I was telling you about. See? Okay, I'm just gonna get that out there quickly. Not too hard. Just put your finger under the skin. Go on there. Hmm. Can eat that too? balanced meal. We got some fruit there, we got beetroot, we got avocado, we got a bit of toast here with cream cheese. Now I've, now I've kind of shot myself in the foot already here because she knows what's going on, she's seen what's on the plate. But what I really wanted to tell you was doing this kind of thing with yeah, giving them... Hey, do you mind? This is really hard to concentrate. Giving them too many choices only makes them picky eaters. So basically what you need to do is 
remove the things without them seeing, obviously, in this case it's a bit too late. Move the things you don't want to eat first. Here we'll take the peach root, strawberries away, take the toast away, Stop. Stop. then put in front of her a plate of avocado. She thinks that that's all there is and she'll happily eat it. And then you introduce the other things in whatever order, health-wise. Then it will probably be the bread with the cream cheese last and that will fill her up. Anyway, that is one of my many parenting tricks. But what do I know? I'm only a dad. So anyway, thank you for this. For joining me in this short video. Oh. The joys of being a parent. <laughs>